Let's start talking about corporate America. I know a little bit about. You start thinking about what you're doing and what's happening out there in corporate America. Look at La Rosa, the 100 largest companies that exist in the United States in the 1900s. 16 are still in existence. 230 of the Fortune 500 companies that existed in 1980 are gone. 46% of the perennial leaders. You go back 10 more years, that number jumps to 74%. All of a sudden, we have some people in here going, gosh, we're big, we're great, we're fantastic. We'll always be around. That's one thing that Charles understands. All of a sudden, they've taken it to 62 million, and he's sitting there saying, we've got to get better, and we can't rest on what we did yesterday. As I said, being an athlete taught me a lot of important things about business. One thing it taught me is I'm only as good as my next game. My last game will get me on the field. But the moment I start dropping the ball and missing the shot, you know what they say? You're out of here. Next. And that's what we've got to appreciate. Tell me what you're going to do for me tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. You want to start thinking about corporate America and why they bring somebody like me in to talk to their people because of what's going on in that realm. What's going on, folks? The 100 most valuable companies in America from 1985 to 2000, the top players. How did they do? 85 to 90, 24 got pushed off the list. 90 to 95, 26 got pushed off the list. 95 to 2000, 41 more got pushed off the list. It adds up to 91 players got pushed off the list. Don't tell me how you did last year. Tell me what you're going to do for me tomorrow. I used to give my, my people in my company the Fortune 500 list every year. And I'd say, take a look at the ones that are no longer on the list. What happened? What caused them to fail? How would you like to have your name on the cover of Fortune magazine? They call you a dinosaur. And those are major players.